with the lead. Carroll Kinder holding two to go. It'll be white flag this time by. They have eight seconds. Back to the third place car, Terry Labonte, and Labonte may lose third before it's over. Cale Yarbrough is closing in on Labonte. Turn one for the final time. Walter will climb up the racetrack. Gant has the short way around on the bottom side. Walter points it down the back straightaway at Richard Petty's STP Pontiac. That will be a lap down if they catch him. Don't think they will. They go into turn three. Has Harry Gant got anything left? Darrell seems to have something left. And unless Harry does something spectacular in his car, and Harry's car got a little loose off that corner, Darrell's going to come across the line here winning. Darrell Walter, a hand in the air, a wave to the crowd of 100,000 plus. He wins $200,000. He blows up. Going in the first corner, he blew up. What a Hollywood ending. Still able to hold on to that fifth position. This is just great racing. Here comes Bill Elliott, and the white flag flies. One more lap to go, and Elliott will pocket $240,000 in winning the Winston. Tell okay, you what, these Georgia fans are loving it, too. It's Bill a, from just about 50 miles up the road. It's a 3.7-second lead, so Bill could almost coast home to victory from here. It will be his first victory of 1986. Here he is in the middle of turn number three now. Turn number four, the banking here in Atlanta. Elliott comes off of the fourth corner, sees the checkered flag waving from Harold Kinder, and there it is. Bill Elliott has won the Winston. Finishing in second position is Dale Earnhardt, crossing the line in third position. And now Earnhardt with the white flag out. He's in the final lap, and he has the lead over Labonte. Richmond is there. Labonte and Richmond will slam it to the firewall. Both of them. But then so will Dale Earnhardt. Here's the sprint down the final straightaway. On the backside of the mile and a half racetrack, the body looks to the inside. Nothing there. Earnhardt slams the door. Richmond's out of it. No way. He can pick it up in his position, number three. And it is Earnhardt. The body. Richmond. One, two, three. Earnhardt for two. $100,000. Up will come the white flag at the end of this lap. One lap to go. Do you think Junior Johnson has crossed his fingers at all, or is he just implacable, unflappable? I think he still has that leg cocked up on the wall, just sitting there watching this young driver, 31 years of age. He's from Corpus Christi, Texas, Terry Labonte. Made his Winston Cup debut at Darlington in 1978. Went on to win his first ever Winston Cup race there at the track too tough to tame two years later. Trying to win the Winston Open here today. And the turn down off four for the finish line. It is Labonte, Marlin, Davey Allison, Bill Elliott, Bobby Allison, Kyle Petty, Daryl Waltrip, Dale Earnhardt, Morgan Shepard, Neil Bonnet. The same for him. He's got to go fast. Two hundred thousand dollars, just a mile and a half away, as the white flag signaling the last lap comes out. Trader closes in on Wallace on the final lap in the first turn. Trader right at the back end, but look at the power in Wallace's Pontiac as he pulls onto the back stretch. Trader looks for a little clean air. What happened is Schrader drove the car in the corner just a little bit too hard, got the car pushing. He didn't make this mistake again, but I don't think he can make up the, dis the just, difference. Just no time, Benny. They're coming down for the checkered flag now, Paul. Wallace with a Pontiac power, and the checkered flag as Wallace picks up $200,000, and the Winston, the Winston has been won by Rusty Wallace, followed by Ken Schrader. <laughs> Look at that smoke come up. All the way through the turn, the right rear smoking on Earnhardt. Off of number four, the white flag, the final lap. As we watch Earnhardt try to hold off Schrader. Let's watch.
the Winston. Final lap is underway. And once again, the mists have settled in. A little sprinkle in the air as we get down to finish this one. The drama is the battle with the weatherman as Davy Allison pops up out of the hole in turn number two. Drag races down the back straightaway. Davy Allison headed for victory. And Ernie Urban Smith coming off the turn two almost spun out. And Bill Elliott won that battle, but Michael Walter about to pass him as Davey Allison comes to the line. Davey Allison is going to take it home. He's going to win. Second place is going to Schrader. Third. White flag. One lap to go. He's going to get a shot at him. Kyle Petty is there. He is just a car length back of Earnhardt. Davey Allison coming up, but I don't think will be a factor. Marco. Kyle just hauls it off the corner. He's got the inside. He's up to Earnhardt's oh. bumper. Earnhardt oh, takes it. They're on, the, they're on the racing service down on the oh. left part of the racetrack. Look and out. Oh, 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 oh. out. And it's Kyle Petty. Kyle Petty coming to the checkered flag. Here comes Davey Allison to the bottom. It'll be the finish. Everybody oh, was oh, waiting for it. Oh, they wait, crashed that. past the finish line. Uh -oh. They have crashed into turn number one. And Davey Allison is in a shower of sparks. He won the race, but he sure paid the price for it. What a finish, Mike, I'm telling you. The lead swapped three times on in the last quarter mile of the racetrack. Unbelievable. Get off of the corners, the key. Lap to go. Bodine may have brushed the wall coming out of four. White flag. Earnhardt, Martin, Urban, Bodine, Schrader. The Mars car has really gotten up off this corner because Earnhardt's wiggling the rear and up off the corner there. Here comes the four car. Four's going to put some heat on the six. Urban is third. Now, leading going in here doesn't necessarily mean you're going to win. We've seen this before. <laughs> Look at Earnhardt go deep into that corner. And Man, he's driving that Here car comes off. Mark. Earnhardt pushed up the racetrack. Mark Barton has a look at it, but Dale Earnhardt will collect $215,000. White flag. One lap to go. Hey, Bodine's ever going to convince anybody that he wasn't sandbagging back in just a little bit. That's a wrecked race car that they fixed, and he is going back here, and it looks like he may pull this job off. You see Sterling Marlin moving in there, going into the third turn now. And Hoosier Tires make it its first victory of the season. Sterling Marlin will battle Schrader for second. It's Bodine off the corner to win it. Jeff Bodine, the 86-500 winner, will win it at for second. Wow. I can't go. I, I, I would have to say Sterling might have done that. Kenny Schrader looking for second for the fourth time in this event. White flag. Brooke Gordon, Jeff's wife. Looking on, a lap to go. He's really pulling it out on Marlin now. Eight car lengths, nine as they hit the back straightaway. I think Sterling knows he can't catch him, and he don't want to make a mistake that's going to drop him back in the third. Sterling can make 80 grand right where he is. Off turn four. The Brickyard 400 winner becomes the latest winner of the Winston Select, Jeff Gordon. For Rick Hendrick, DuPont at Chevrolet will go to Victory Lane and pick up a check tonight for $300,000. Wow. <laughs> That's a good lap coming out of the corner under Jeff Gordon there as he spins down the front straightaway. White flag for Michael Walsh as we watch the battle middle of the pack. There is the leader. What a night for this young man. He and may not have won yet, but this is something big here, Eli. This is major. The Wood Brothers have won here six times, but not since 1987. And advancing from the Winston Select Open, Michael Waltrip wins. Michael Waltrip, And then Dale Earnhardt with Martin Rudd. Mark Martin get down into turn three very, very fast. White flag for Jeff Gordon. He's a mile and a half away from a $200,000 payday. He won $7,500 for a third place finish in segment number one. But this is the one he wanted. Well, Rick Hendrick, you picked a good one in this kid. That's the best medicine Rick Hendrick could get. 
Jeff Gordon wins the 1997 running of the Winston. Bobby Labonte second, Terry Labonte third. Give it to Earnhardt fourth ahead of Spencer fifth at the stripe. There's a great battle for 15. Ran a few weeks ago. Good second place battle here. Mark Martin says, if I can't catch Jeff, I'd better get more money here. Mark Martin said two wheels below the white line there to get under Bobby Labonte and take over second spot. What a job. Jeff Gordon. Jeff Gordon, Gordon, Gordon. Jeff Gordon, Gordon. Has broken on the white flag line. Jeff Gordon has broken on the white flag line. They are racing for the win here in the Winston. They are racing for the win. For the win in the Winston. Mark Martin leads. Bobby Labonte is second. They are coming to the second flag. Eli, I told you they were catching him. I noticed it. All of a sudden, Jeff Gordon was off. Maybe the engine miss he talked about earlier has struck. Mark Martin wins his first career Winston. Unbelievable. Remarkable. tonight in the trunk of the car. <laughs> but that second place, $200,000. About to go to Terry Labonte. Here comes the winner of the Winston for 1999. Terry Labonte wins. Second place, Tony Stewart. Jeff Gordon will finish in third. Earnhardt comes home fourth. And yes, Rick Hendrick, you're going to victory lane as the Earnhardt Jr. wins the lead here at the Lowe's Motor Speedway. He's a mile and a half from victory lane. Can you believe it? The crowd, they're standing up all the way around this racetrack. He didn't just take the lead. He is driving away. He finished third in segment number one. He finished third in segment number two. But he's kicked those Clydesdales in a high gear. Hey, man, right on the bottom of the racetrack, he hit the wall hard enough to put any race car out of the race, but he fought back, and look at this. Dale Earnhardt Jr. in his rookie season wins better than $500,000 and takes home the top prize in the Winston. But in this event, it's the last lap that produces the fireworks. Actually got strung out pretty quickly here in this 10-lap shootout, and... Uh, sat in his car there when it was raining and said he thought it was a good idea to let those guys get their backup cars out. I'll be interested to see if he's still... He's gonna, he's gonna make us hold our breath till the last lap. White flag this time, one lap to go, a mile and a half, he's gonna move to the high side right here. Boy, Ryan Newman is doing everything in his power. If he can just get them here and not slip, Newman might have him. Kenseth for third, takes Kurt Busch. Junior is there. Bumper tag. Now, see, Junior respected him. He could have taken him. He could have taken him around right there. And he lost some ground because he had to back back off the throttle there. Last Look chance. He may not respect him here though. <laughs> now he pushed up. Drove in hard. Don't push think he can up. do it. And Ryan Newman is going to win the Winston. What a race! Yeah. And Kent's a third. Kurt Busch fourth. Jimmy Johnson, four fresh tires, gets back to fifth. Look at these guys. Oh, man. From dead last to first in 90 laps. That was exciting, man. I love that. I thought Junior would sail around him on the outside. Junior really, really... <laughs> Listen, he... ...over here next week and runs like that. One more time, hero. <laughs> and as Larry pointed out, it won't be this car. It'll be a better one. Gordon Chad Canal. I wouldn't I bet on that. I've been down that road before. <laughs> you think they'll start to smell this? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, wait a minute. You got to make another turn here. Don't start counting chickens. Boy, Bobby Labonte is going to move to the high side, try to make this pass, but I don't think he'll do it on Kurt Busch. 
Last year he won the first two segments. This year he wins a million dollars. Jimmy Johnson wins the Winston. How about that? <laughs> Way to go, Chad. Nice job. Look at that. Junior trying to hold off Jeff Gordon. That's back in fifth place. Casey White Kane flag. there as well. White flag. Down into turn one they go. Woo! Like I said, Jack Roush over doing the math. Think I'm going to break even, boys. Yeah, three wrecked cars <laughs> and a million dollars. Last six all-star races, six different winners. Matt Kenseth is a half a lap away from making it seven. Ryan Newman slides up the track just a bit, gives it his all. Do you feel like a million dollars? Matt Kenseth win right. the NASCAR Nextel All-Star Challenge. Nice job, nice job. Ryan Newman second, Tony Stewart third, Michael Walter fourth, and Dale Earnhardt Jr. in eighth car ends up fifth. Just one more, you got a million bucks, bud. Go get it, one more. One more, white flag. And here's what you know about Mark Martin. You know who he'll share that million bucks with? Everybody. Boy, Elliot Sadler drove it down into turn one, and he used every bit of the racetrack off turn two. It's just not going to be enough, D.W. No, Mark is just too good, and Elliot's done everything he can, but Mark's just too good. Here he comes off turn four. Nice job, bud. Bring it home here. Mark Martin wins the Nextel All-Star Challenge and $1,101,000. In this battle for fourth between Jeff Gordon and Jimmy Johnson. Jeff Gordon will beat him back to the line to finish fourth. Jimmy Johnson fifth, and their teammate Brian Vickers finishes third. They may have learned a lot, but they're also going to have to bring back a different car. A bunch of them White flag in the air for $1 million. Brings her off a turn two, hooks down that long back seven seconds. Kyle Petty in the 45 got by Dale Earnhardt Jr. in the eighth, so Kyle moves up to the eighth position in the 45. Puts the Petty car six and eight. The 2003 winner of the next All-Star Challenge about to give Hendrick Motorsports its fifth All-Star win. Jimmy Johnson in the low Chevy wins the Nextel All-Star Challenge. Got a big a tip, a big tip of the hat though to Kevin oh, Harvick man. and Richard Jones. All the hard work going into this. Thank you so much, boys. Thank you, thank you. Come on, we got one more time. One more time. Childress has three wins in the All-Star race, all with Dale Earnhardt behind the wheel. 1987, 1990, and 93. That's 14 years. He moved to the center. Jimmy Johnson right moved yeah. it up a little bit through you know one and two that time. If he can go the outside, if he can get to the outside of Harvey, it could be big, guys. There he goes. Here He's he on comes. the outside. Here He's he comes. There. Checkers or wreckers. Couldn't make it. Couldn't Johnson. get it done. Oh, Ross is under. Kevin Harvick wins the next Till All-Star Challenge. He was Johnson. setting it up for he that had a one plan. shot. Yeah. He had a plan, Larry. It almost worked. Well, you know what? A year ago, Kevin Harvick said that Casey Kane in his cup career has had to run the showdown. He was uh, automatically in the all-star race. Well, he every just year got before. himself, if he can make another lap and a, ha a lap here, uh, an exemption for 10 years. And the difference between first and second, almost $800,000. Keep that focus. One more corner. Hit your marks here. Race pace, 30.5. Only two other cars, three other cars are running that. And here comes Casey Kane, the fan favorite, wins the Sprint All-Star Race. Oh, by the way, young man, this bud's for you. <laughs> Good work, bud. Greg Biffle finishes second, Matt Kinsa third, Jimmy Johnson comes home fourth, and Tony Stewart cracks the top five. Pass. Sir, by three, he's working the top five a little bit. <laughs> Kurt Busch well back in third, Hamlin fourth, Carl Edwards is up to fifth, Kyle Busch has faded to sixth, Earnhardt seventh, Mark Martin, Logano, McMurray the top ten. Even getting past, you don't think they've wrapped it up, well, Kenson just ran his fastest lap a lap ago. Larry, what a, what a great accomplishment for Tony Stewart, this team, that organization, who would have thunk it? After self-inflicting a penalty on his pit stop, Tony Stewart makes a million dollars. How about his, it's terrible on his pit stop last night, drove off with only two tire changes.
And here tonight, they're in winter circle. And this is the first race that Gene Haas, the other half of Stuart Haas, has been able to come to. If he can make it around one more time. White flag. And Tony Stewart in that 14 car has worked his way to fifth, working on fourth with the nose caved in on that thing. Stewart's come out of nowhere. No mistakes right here for that cool million. Ninth try for Kurt Busch. He and Roger Penske and the Miller Lite Dodge are going to the bank. One million dollars. Kurt Busch wins the Sprint All-Star Race from Joey Logano. Or rather, Martin Truex, Joey Logano, Denny Hamlin, and Tony Stewart. Uh, Roger Penske had a pretty good day, guys. White flag. He's, he's going to catch Carl going into turn three. Don't know if he can do anything with him or not, but he's going to catch him. Edwards on the bottom. Kyle just said he waited too long to move up. I think Look if he had moved up sooner, though. he might have caught Carl and had, had a shot at him, but it's, it's going to be too little too late. Two more corners for $1 million. Edwards comes up a groove. Bush close, but not close enough. Carl Edwards wins the Sprint All-Star Race in a million dollars. All right, baby. Awesome work. Awesome work, Mr. The flag of surrender. <laughs> I surrender all, boys, because uh, the 48 is all long gone. Three cars pull away, Johnson, Keselowski, and Kenseth. For the third time in the history of the All-Star Race, Jimmy Johnson and the low Chevrolet are going to victory lane in a million bucks. Jimmy Johnson. Did any one more lap? Mark Martin takes his car to the garage. Hey, think about Kurt Busch in the 78. This is about the deepest he's been in the field all night long back there in fifth. That's right, Larry. First, fourth, second, and first. And to wind up fifth, it's going to be a disappointment. Here he comes off turn number four. Five time is four time in all star wins. Jimmy Johnson wins the Sprint All Star Race and a million dollars back to back. You guys save me a place down there. Save me some of that champagne. Night, white flag for Jamie McMurray. Boy, I tell you what, he's got a whiff. He's getting a little draft off that one car now. He's gonna, he's gonna be just like he was last Saturday night. He's gonna be oh is so close. Eight tenths of a second. About 160 feet. It might as well be 160 miles. Jamie McMurray wins the Sprint All Star Race. Oh my! Wow. Kevin Harvick finishes seven tenths of a second back. Matt Kenseth. One second off the lead. One more. One to go. It may be remembered as the night that Brad Keselowski gave it away on pit road. It'll also be the remembered as the night that Denny Hamlin hung on to that car with just two tires, got himself a great average finish, restarted with the lead in the final 10 lap segment. And for the first time, Joe Gibbs is going to victory lane. Toyota will go to victory lane, and Denny Hamlin has won the Sprint All-Star Race. Hey, All-Star, you just won a company a million dollars. You are the man. Good job, the crew. Hamlin had the white flag waves. One lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Well, you know, Larson's just got to be saying, what do I have to do to win one of these races? What about another picture on that 22 car, Mike? That's and guess it. whose it'll probably be? The guy driving the car, I guarantee you. On what that yellow 22 day. are pictures of the 50-year history
of Penske Racing. Celebrated in January and celebrated again tonight. Add Joey Logano's picture and next to it a million dollars. He wins the Sprint All-Star Race. Brad Keselowski second, Dale Earnhardt Jr. third, Carl Edwards, Kurt Busch, the top five. In the wall, he's, he's hard to get hold of. The white flag waves, one lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. For Kyle Larson, he just wants to pass Jimmy Johnson. For Kyle Busch, he wants that million dollars. No, he wants that 42 to pass Jimmy Johnson, because that'll slow them both down. There he goes. Larson to the bottom. Wow. What Slide a job. move by Larson. Slide Larson job. Second. Slide job. Here comes Johnson back on the outside, but out front, the candy man, Kyle Busch, wins the all-star race. Wow. After 12 years of trying. Kyle Larson second, 1.27. One lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Oh, no, Park bounces the off the wall hard. 31 of Newman. He's still right, up though. there. He's still going. I think he's going to be okay. Everybody gets by. Go stay green. Joey Logano, Daniel Suarez. Will they have a chance at Kevin Harvick? Oh, they're side by side. They're still side by side. Suarez really sealed that thing into third turn. He's going to come out in second place. The closer, Kevin Harvick. Wins the Monster Energy All Star Race. I see, I love you guys. <laughs> I guess. Thanks for the effort. Y'all are lead. Doug Yates, fab job. Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But they're coming to the white flag. One to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. And it's four tenths of a second. Larson left that bottom lane open one more time. Big run coming from the four car. Kevin Harvick down the back straightaway. This is amazing. All Kevin Harvick can see is dollar bills flying out the trunk of that car. Kyle, Kyle Larson, Larson. He's got it made. Had to win the open to transfer. He did. And now Kyle Larson wins a million dollars and the Monster Energy all-star race. Well, he's going to be in a lot better mood than he was after that <laughs> open. Yeah, I agree. Wow. What a race. He just locked himself in for the next 10 years, but hell of a job. <laughs> That's awesome. right. Good job, guys. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. You know Kyle Busch is going to pull everything out of it he possibly can. Maybe bobbled a little bit there off of two. He cut it down by a tenth, but not enough. Billion dollars, boys. Chase Elliott yes, gets his sir, first, first all-star win in his fifth start and becomes the 25th different driver to win NASCAR's all-star race. Oh, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Well, you got to love this fight by Brad Keselowski. Never gives up. That was a great effort right there. I don't think there's anything left for him, but he's going to try it. I guarantee you that. Larson right down on the white line, taking the short way around, leaving Keselowski no out, and your all-star winner, Kyle Larson. Gutsy move, won that race. Woo. What a What a run this kid is on right now. But he went for it, and that's what you want to see. That's what this all-star race is all about. When I say he went for it, you saw that car move. The nine car tried to block him, tried to run him up. White flag again. Come on, baby, bring this thing around. Sendrick giving the 11 all Hamlin can handle. Boy, Hamlin got a great run off turn two that time down the back straightaway. You hear him wide open trying within three car lengths closing. Here they come to the line. The track is green. The checkered flag waves. Ryan Blaney fine wins the all star race. Thank gosh that happened that way. That's exactly who That's needed to door. win this race. He deserved to win the race. One lap to go sponsored by Credit One Bank. He has won at Charlotte Motor Speedway. He won at Texas Motor Speedway.
fixing to win at North Wilkesboro Motor Speedway. Yes, sir. Guys. NASCAR's return to North Wilkesboro will send Kyle Larson to victory lane in the NASCAR All-Star Race for one million dollars. Holy smoly. He just won a million dollars. A million dollars. Yeah.